Hello everybody! So today's video we're going to be playing a game called Rip It or Ship It. So let's get started! So the way that this game works is I've got a couple of jars full of character names and what I do is I draw out two names and I decide whether I rip them or if I ship them. And shipping in nerd culture means that you think that two characters would do well romantically together. Sorry, the camera's kind of bouncing. I'm sitting on my bed. But anyways, so let's get started. Round one, we've got Colonel Brandon from Sense and Sensibility and Bella Swan from Twilight. Hmm. I think that they would actually do well together. I think that Bella Swan needs somebody who's a little bit more kind and a little less controlling as Edward. Uh, Colonel Brandon, I think that he would he would go for her just because she's smart and she's, I mean, she's fairly nice and kind of a dork. And Colonel Brandon's a nice guy. So, yeah, you know what? Why not? Round two. We've got Dalinar from Way of Kings and Jasna from Way of Kings. Ooh, I did, ooh, wait, are they related? Hold on, we're gonna redo this one. Future Katie here, so I had to go and do a little bit of research and, because it's been a long time since I've read Way of Kings. And so, yes, they are related. Jasna is Dalinar's niece. So we're not gonna go there. Let's continue on. <laughs> All right, so the next couple we've got is Draco Malfoy and Jasna from Way of Kings. Ooh, no, nope, no. Uh, this one I don't think would work. Jasna is too much of like a power woman and Draco Malfoy is a little too much of a whiny, you know, papa's boy, that kind of a thing. I don't think that even if they were the same age, I don't think that they would fall for each other. Mm, so that one, I am going to rip it. All right, round three, we've got Dalinar from Way of Kings and Bellatrix Lestrange Ugh, from Harry Potter. Ugh. Bellatrix Lestrange, no, mm -mm, Dalinar doesn't deserve that. He don't, Dalinar don't deserve that kind of crazy. Dalinar is like a cool, like straight, straight kind of a guy, does what's right. Bellatrix Lestrange is just too bat crap crazy. Nope, mm -mm, I ripped that one, hardcore. I like Dalinar too much. <laughs> okay, round four, I think we're in round four. We've got Aragorn from Lord of the Rings and Triss from Divergent. I think that this one would be okay if they're, again, if they're the same age, I think that that would work, that would work okay if Triss was a little bit older or Aragorn was a bit younger because of their personalities. You know, Triss is a pretty strong, head, headstrong kind of gal and then Aragorn is, you know, kind of a tough guy as well. So I think that, eh, well, I think that they would go well together. I don't necessarily ship it. But they would, I think that they would do okay together. Round five? I think we're in round five. Oh, so just as a warning, I also threw in my husband and my name. So we've got Tyler, which is my husband, and Hermione Granger. Don't think it would work. Maybe be just because I don't want to ship anybody else with my husband. So um, I'm going to rip that one. I don't think that would work. I think he'd find her a little bit too. I don't know. Future Katie here again. So I just text my husband just because I was really curious. I'm like, so what do you think? So would you ship with Hermione Granger in an alternate universe? He said, eh, it depends on which movie she's in. And so <laughs> he says that he would probably ship with older Hermione when she kind of calms down a little bit and isn't so high strung and bookish. I guess I was wrong, but I don't ship it personally. So I lost track of the rounds, but whatever. We'll just keep going. <laughs> Next one we've got is... Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit and me! <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that would work. I think Bilbo's an adorable character and I've always said that I'm a hobbit. Like, I love to stay home and I love to eat good food, like hobbit food. Yeah, why not? That one I think would work in an alternate universe if I didn't fall in love with my husband. So, yeah, why not? I think that one would work. Uh, so we've got Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. And Jane Eyre from Jane Eyre. Um, I think that Jane, I think they would do well together because Mr. Darcy is less of a butthead than Mr. Rochester is, but he's still kind of that dark and brooding. And I think that that one would work. As far as like the time periods, I don't think that that would work just because the class difference was so drastic. But yeah, I think that they would do well together. So I ship that one. All right. 
Like I said, I lost track of the round, so we're just gonna keep going. Uh, Severus Snape from Harry Potter, and Eowyn from Lord of the Rings. If you remember, Eowyn's the one that killed the Witch King. Um, she's the the blonde, tough gal. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I think that Severus, I do, so I don't ship this for. I think Severus would fall for Eowyn, but I don't think Eowyn would return. She's he's probably a little too worm tongue ish. Like he looks like Grima worm tongue, maybe a little bit too much. So I mm -mm, I rip that one. I don't think that one would work. All right, up next we've got Mr. Rochester from Jane Eyre and Mrs. Bennett from <laughs> from uh, Pride and Prejudice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, I shipped that one just because I think it would be hilarious. I think it would be so funny because Mrs. Bennett is so obnoxious and Mr. Rochester just wouldn't put up with that kind of crap. But to see them, to see, to read a fan fiction of them falling in love, I think would be so funny. I think that would be hilarious. I'm gonna ship that one just because it's so funny. Okay, and then we've got Kaladin from The Way of Kings and Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, I think that one would work. I think that one would work okay because, Cal well, Kaladin's a little more, he's got some dark and brooding aspects to him and I think Elizabeth would, would go for that. Yeah, you know what, I'll ship that one. I think it'd be all right. All right, we're getting down to our last couple here, last couple couples. Uh, Edward Cullen and Katniss Everdeen. Edward's from Twilight and Katniss is from the, oh my gosh, why am I blanking on it? I, all I think is Mockingjay. Hunger Games, there we go. Mm -mm, nope, this would not work. Uh, Katniss, she doesn't want to be controlled. She doesn't, she, I mean, she's part of a rebellion for heaven's sake. And Edward Cullen's way too controlling. Uh, nope, that one would not work. I am going to rip it. And our last one, Arthur Dent from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and Arwen from Lord of the Rings. That one would be cute. I think that one would be way cute because Arwen's, you know, this immortal, beautiful elf and Arthur Dent's kind of this, you know, this funny, bumbling human. I think Arwen would think that Arthur Dent's like super cute. And he's like, oh, he's my adorable little human. And Arthur would just be overwhelmed by like how beautiful Arwen is. And so I, I ship that one. I think that one would be way fun. Let me know if you liked this game, and I might do one in the future because I saw somebody who did one that had several movie characters and a few of their friends in it. So if you want to be thrown into one of these, I think it'd be way fun. Let me know if you liked it. Please comment and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.